Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see um, what are your person's thoughts and feelings about you right now at this particular point in time. It is going to be a general reading guys. If you're after a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is going to be listed below the video. Interesting. As we can see from the cards, there feels to be um, a lot of tension in the energies here. The person that is on your mind or the person that you're thinking about as we do this reading, you may be in a no contact um, situation with this person. Okay. Um, or the last time you guys did have contact, interact with one another, there was a lot of tension. Maybe there was a um, words that were exchanged that were a little bit heated um, it feels like your person has pulled their energy back and because you do have a fair bit of swords that has shown up here it does feel like this person is right now they're going through some things and it feels like there's pain in their energy this person is hurt as a result they may <clears throat> they may have said some things when you last spoke or when you recently spoke they may have said some things out of anger especially if they're like they've raised their voice or um, if they were really angry towards you um, underneath all of that anger are feelings of hurt are feelings of pain and basically they're just expressing that hurt and that pain through the emotions of anger um, so it feels like they've pulled back their energy away from you now this person feels like they need a little bit of time and space um, if this is a no contact uh, situation your person is thinking about you and i feel like they may be potentially thinking about reaching out and connecting with you the page of swords is like a spying card so this person is they still have a way of trying to keep in contact with you or they have a way it appears as though like they still feel connected to you so maybe because they're like spying on your social media maybe because this person still has a way of reaching you um for some of you yes it is the fact that this person watches your instagram stories or watches whatever you post and even though they're not talking to you they still feel like they're connected with you through that way if that makes sense right um also you've got a lot of air energy here which maybe the person that i'm talking to right now you're a gemini aquarius or a libra or this is your person um, otherwise there's a lot of fire energy as well which could indicate the underlying tension um, within this connection or especially you know within the current circumstances or otherwise there could also be a fire sign an Aries Leo Sagittarius there could of course be the other two signs but these are the ones that are coming through very strongly so your person feels like there's a lot of resistance here okay they are resisting something here they definitely pull their energy away from you no contact no communication or even if you guys are communicating they're holding back a lot there's something here that they're not telling you there's something here that's bothering them that's on their mind but they don't feel like they can express themselves they just may not be a very strong communicator when it comes to sharing their feelings this is someone maybe who holds back a lot uh, maybe they just didn't you know didn't necessarily grow up in an environment where they were encouraged to talk about their feelings encouraged to express themselves and so this person feels very self-contained very withdrawn um, they're holding back from you and I think it's important that you know this there's something here that they want to share with you but they hold back they hold back because they just feel like they're too hurt to talk about it now or they feel like really misunderstood or they just feel like if they bring it up right now it's just going to add fuel to what already is a very inflamed situation seven of wands they're definitely resisting here and i feel like even though they want to contact you they want to communicate i feel like they're honestly purposely and rather intentionally trying to mm, trying to not communicate so it's like maybe they have text messages that they're ready to send off but they don't like they're delaying 
communication or they're purposely giving themselves some time and space to cool down or cool off maybe um, or they just think communication is not really good right now um, they are hurt okay it's important to know that either the person that I'm connecting to maybe you know we're picking up your energy here where you're really hurt by the way that your person has treated you by the way that they've gone about things maybe you're really hurt by their uh, lack of words by their silence but this could also be your person's energy um you know this is someone who's really hurt and i feel like they they feel like they need the space when i talk about space i mean both emotional and physical space to kind of in the mental space to kind of process this hurt or process what it is that they're feeling um this they're definitely they feel trapped they feel trapped in their own head they feel trapped in their own emotions they don't know how to process them they also don't know how to manage them they don't know how to come forward they don't know how to approach this situation so again i feel like they're leaving out so much of what they want to say they don't end up saying or so much of what they're at what's actually going on with them or what they're feeling they actually don't end up revealing to you because this is someone who holds themselves back um, as a result they also hold back the relationship from progressing or moving forward if that is the intention right this is someone who is they may be hesitant and they may be fearful of moving forward because this person is stuck they're stuck in their head they're stuck with their thoughts and they're stuck in their emotions and it feels like it feels like they don't want to i know this sounds strange but it feels like they don't want to step out of this stagnated energy it feels like on some level they're comfortable i feel like this is someone who they've okay they either grew up in an environment where there wasn't a lot of stability and so maybe it was like their childhood or their childhood upbringing on the environment in which they grew up in was a little volatile or um, there was a lot of argument like their parents didn't or even their family members their siblings didn't quite communicate um, they weren't very good at communicating their feelings um, and so they were taught from a young age to suppress their emotions to you know hold back on what it is they're thinking or they're feeling and they just grew up in this environment where they thought that you know pain is a necessary part of relationships uh, or pain isn't you know it, it's like they weren't encouraged to express themselves, they weren't encouraged to talk openly about their feelings. And so they grew up of this mindset, a rather unhealthy mindset that, you know, pain is necessary when it comes to relationships, when it comes to forming relationships, or, you know, you're not supposed to speak up and speak out, or you, you just have to suppress it or bottle it in. And so it's not healthy, but this is the norm for them, right? This is normalcy this is what they know and this is what they thought all along was to be true but it's not and so it feels like even though they're uncomfortable and they're stuck in this kind of they're stuck in their head they're stuck in their thoughts and feelings they're just stuck wherever they are right now it feels like they're stuck in life they want to move but either they don't know how to or they're so comfortable in this comfort zone, even if their comfort zone isn't all that comfortable, but they're so comfortable there that they don't want to move from out of this zone. They don't want to move from where they are. So you, so the person that's on your, um, on your mind right now, like there may be other areas in life that they're struggling with. Like it could be career, it could be, you know, friendships, relationships and whatnot, but it feels as though this person is um it feels as though this person is unwilling to budge it feels as though they're kind of they're not happy where they are but they're content i feel like they're still committed to you even if this is no contact no communication i feel like they're still committed to like the energy is still committed to yours and they're still committed to what this could be um I do think that this person is still showing loyalty to you in your situation. 
just because you're not in no contact doesn't necessarily mean that you know they're being um, disloyal or they're not no longer committed they are but it just feels like there's a lot going on with you and this person or there's also a lot going on with them internally that they then felt the need to project all of that emotional turbulence and that emotional chaos um, outwardly which is why maybe they which is why they may it may seem to you like there's no flow of logic to what they say or what they've been saying lately or they've been picking fights with you. They've been really nitpicky about things. There's something that is causing them a lot of inner disturbances and they're not okay on the inside. So then they are projecting those disturbances outwardly. They're projecting it onto you, which is why they may be really, maybe even like a little mean to you lately or like really nitpicky or even just acting really weird and not themselves, like out of character. Um, so maybe um, the advice would be, yeah, maybe just to give yourself and give this person the time and the space. Because I do think that there's a lot that this person is processing. And there's a lot that this person feels like they need to process emotionally. And like trying to handle this situation where you're both kind of you know, really charged up is only going to add fuel to the fire. So maybe give yourself some time to cool off or cool down and just see, um, just, I feel like time is going to reveal what's really going on with them, but it does feel like, it does feel like that they're holding back a lot. And it does feel like this person is stuck, trapped, trapped is a really good word to describe their current situation. Like, I think that on a, like deep down, I think this person wants to make a change. I think they want they want to inspire change in their life, but they don't know how to do it. They do not know how to do it, and I guess that's the hard part, right? All right, guys, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, thank you for your time, your energy, your attention. Uh, please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, it helps the channel to grow. Bye for now.